What's up everybody, it's Daniel back at it again with another customize your Android video. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to be checking out Facundo's home screen setup, which kind of looks like the Pixel Launcher, but he has his own nice little widget, which he found on Google Plus and modified a little bit down the center. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up that widget as well as a cool music widget that we've been using for a while that looks very clean. So in order to do this, you're gonna to want to download all the files from the link in the description down below. Place the Zooper files under the Zooper folder in your SD card, and then the KWGT file can be placed anywhere that you know how to find. Once you've done these steps, you can go ahead, you wanna download KWGT, Pop-Up Widget, Nova Launcher Prime, Zooper Widget Pro, Noisy Icon Pack for the icons, and our wallpaper we got off Backdrops if you wanna use that as well. Before we continue on how to set up the widgets, I would like to give a shout to our friends over at Slick Wraps for sending us awesome cases and skins for our devices. If you guys haven't heard of Slick Wraps, it's an awesome company that creates very cool cases and skins with multiple designs and cool graphics on them. You can check them out in the link in the description down below as well and pimp out some of your electronics at home. So in order to achieve the pixel launcher look, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to restore the Nova backup that I have provided for you guys in the link in the description down below. Pretty much that'll give you the pixel launcher look without you having to put in much effort. If you want to set it up yourself, you're welcome to do that as well, but this is just the easier way. Anyways, guys, let's move forward with this setup. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into pop-up widget, click the little plus icon on the top right hand corner, and then create three Zooper widgets that are of 4x4 size. To do this, you scroll to the right, select Zooper widget, select 4x4, then select the little save icon and repeat the whole process until you have three of them. Once you've done this, you can go back to your home screen and now it's time to set up the Zooper widget. So it's super easy to set up. You just need a four by one Zooper widget. And once you've created this widget, you can go in, select the SD card and select main widget. When you've selected main widget, you can go down and scale it however you want. I have it at 138 so it occupies most of the space. Then you go into layout and you go down to where it says open one, open two and open three. You're gonna go in, select open one, click on where it says module on tap, and then you're gonna scroll all the way to the right to shortcuts and select pop-up widget and select one of the three widgets that we've created. Do this for the other two options as well and make sure to not click the same widget twice because you want them all three to be different. Once you've done this, you can go home and you can tap on the little arrows where you have your current widget. And as you can see, you'll get a blank Zooper widget. You wanna tap on that and once you select that, select SD card again and select the corresponding widget. So under time, we have the profile one with the picture and all the links to all the social media. Under the weather option, we obviously have the weather widget and the battery chart is under the battery percentage option. Once you've selected these, you can modify these widgets. To go in and change the profile picture from Facundo's, go into layout, select bitmap, and you can then from there change it to anything in your gallery or on your device. Once you've customized that to your liking, we're pretty much done with this widget. You wanna go in and obviously select the location for the weather widget and have that be wherever you're at, or you can have that automatically change based off your location. And after that, we pretty much set up the rest of the home screen by just creating two folders of your choosing to the side of it. I think it looks super clean this way. And once we've done that, we can now set up our music widget. So the music widget is once again another file that we've already placed on your SD card. Just create a KWGT widget and select that file and modify it to your pleasing. You wanna go into the shortcuts and change all the options to grab information from whatever music app you are using. I currently use the Google Play Music, so it's currently set up to grab information from Google Play Music. If you use another music player, change that under the widget settings. Once you've done this, you've pretty much completed the setup. There's not much else to it. It's very nice and simple, and it's also very clean looking. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want more awesome videos in the future, make sure to subscribe. Until the next time, guys, stay fresh.